There we go. Man, mosquitoes must have got it. Body. Dipping. Ain't nobody gonna tell me nothing. Fuck wrong with you, old ass bitch. I'll bank your shit. Keep looking at me crazy. And I be going hard. I go hard ASAP. Damn, what type of ruckus they doing over here? I be going, I swear to God, I go hard on the racist people. You know, most black people just, you know, tuck their tail and be like, oh man, you know, they're being racist in here. Not me, I go hard. Fuck you looking, Reg, you better tell them, Reg, tell them, Reg. Reg, Reg still got the slave mentality. He be quiet, like, yep, I see him, but I ain't gonna say nothing. Me, I walk right over there. What y'all doing? You're having a good time, I hope. Racist son of a bitch. Fuck you. You know what's crazy? When you call a racist person out, they try to act like they didn't know. Oh my god, what are you talking about? Bitch, you know what the fuck I'm talking about? Yo, niggas be racist on the low, niggas be eating. <coughs> Nigga. <coughs> oh, pardon me. What you nigga? You. Uh, pardon me. 
Niggas be racist. Niggas be trying to hide they racist. I be like, Reg, you heard it? You heard what she said? Reg be like, no, what she say? I said, listen real close. Huh? Huh? A nigga. Reg, she just called us a nigger on the loan. Reg, you hear that? I be going hard. I don't give a... See, my thing is this. I don't give a fuck because you old. I'm supposed to have some type of respect. Man, fuck you. Bitch, you probably... My grandfather, my grandfather probably got bit by one of your motherfucking German Shepherds. Bitch, fuck you. I don't give a fuck how old you are. So the fuck wrong with you? I go hard on the elderly. ASAP. My girl be like, just don't say nothing, baby. They're old. No. Fuck that. Bitch! Fuck you looking at racist son of a bitch! Man, I keep looking at me crazy. Lady, oh my god. Then you know what's crazy? The store owner always wanna come up to the black nigga like it's the black nigga fault. Are we having a problem? I mean, if you want anything, we No, I clearly don't have the problem. Bitch is hurt! The fuck you mean? You know, if I clearly came to the restaurant with my family and was having a good time, it's these motherfuckers that's all mad and grouched up. Talk to them, not me. The fuck? If you could, can you bring me a cherry lemonade while you at it? Nigga thirsty, G. Yeah. I mean, well, to be honest, Nigga kind of low on bread, so if you could bring me a water and a lemon and some sugar. You feel me? I'll figure it out. Nigga kind of low on bread, cherry lemonade, it'd be like 345. Shit. Nigga, I'll take a water. Nigga, water with some lemons and some sugar. I'll be alright. Shit. No, I'm a real one. Don't let me be an IHOP. Oh, I got all type of lemonade. They'll pass me that strawberry syrup. What? Real nigga, don't get no realer than that. But no, look. It ain't like people probably on here like, damn, they like be disrespecting the old white people. And I disrespect the old black people too. Fuck you mean, nigga. Y'all niggas the reason why we fucked up in the first place. Dumbass niggas. Voluntarily slavery ass niggas. Rosa Park was the only one fought for us. All y'all said at the back of the bus ass niggas. Fuck wrong with you. I go hard on the old black people. Bitch. You's a bitch. If we had more nigga uh, Rodney Kings and more fucking uh, Huey P. Newtons and all that, we would never been in this situation. But y'all niggas, Marks. Nigga, I go hard on the elderly. Mark. Fuck you talking about. Nigga, you. Rosa Parks that he fight for us, you want to go sit in the back. Yeah, you know, I'm going to just be quiet and let him do me any type of way. Man, fuck you. Bitch ass nigga. Old ass Samson and all them. Fuck you, Samson. You old son of a bitch. Your ass would have stood up, nigga. We wouldn't have been this problem in the first place. Where was you when they bombed Black Wall Street? You just let it happen? You ain't ride out? Fuck wrong with you? Oh, but you went to the Navy. You got Navy plaques in here. Bitch, you an idiot. Bitch ass nigga went for the Navy to help them kill more people. These nigga won't even support you when you get out the Navy. You still got the plaques on the wall and you live in an apartment. Bitch, you went and fought for the country and they got you living in an apartment? Samson, you an idiot. You went and fought for the country and they got you living in an apartment? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, nigga, I ought to bank your old ass. Nigga, you need to be banked. Fuck you doing fighting for the country. You know how many old black vets be proud? You know how many old black veterans 
I fought in World War One. It was a beautiful sight. Bitch, you helped the enemy destroy more people. How you fight for the country, but you won't even fight for us in the country for our equal right? Man, you don't get your Uncle Sam, Do Johnny D. Ruckus. How you fight for the country, but won't fight for us in the country? I swear they got our people fucked all the way up. Uh-uh. tell you why I don't never respect none of my elders. If you wasn't, let me tell you this, I'm going to keep it all the way real with black people. If you 70 years old, listen to me, look, this is going to be the realest information that you can pass to any one of your parents or your grandparents. If you 70 years old and you went to the army, I have zero respect for you. If you 70 plus and you wasn't a Black Panther, I got no respect for you, none. None, zero. Zero. If you 70s and you wasn't a Black Panther, you get no respect for me, none. That mean you was a cooperative. You cooperated with the system which led most of us to be in the situations that we in right now. You cooperated. Nope. Fuck you. That's how I feel. Yep. No, ain't no. Ain't no way around it. If we, if all our people was Black Panthers and fighting for us, we would never been in the situation we in now. Nope. We wouldn't be in no low incomes. We wouldn't be in no poverty. We know we would have had an army. We would have fought for our own land, equal right. Man, you niggas marked out. All of y'all old niggas marked out. Want me to tell y'all I know niggas marked out? Because we only got one Martin Luther King. We only got one Malcolm X. We only got one Huey P. We only got one motherfucking, uh, 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 what was the other nigga name? We only got one Rosa Parks. We only got one. How we only got one of these individuals? We don't got no more people who want to sit at the front of the bus. So you mean to tell me it was all them black people and nobody else wants to sit at the front of the bus? Oh, hell no. If I would have lived in the 70s, I would have been one of them things y'all remembered. Nigga, the great daylight. Nigga, if I would have lived in the 70s, they would have had a stormy on me, nigga. The Great Daylight. He once caught the head up with 3,000 clan members. Bitch, I would have went down in the history book. Bitch, I would have found the clan rally. Man, what it is, nigga? Man, y'all niggas steady burning crosses over here and all that, nigga. Watch out, nigga. Nigga, I would have caught the dummy fade, nigga, with all the clan members. Nigga, fuck you niggas talk about. I would have went down in the history books. Fuck you. What? You think I'm just going to walk around and let you niggas? Oh, you crazy. Meet Daylight. 1962, he the first nigga drink from all the white people water fountains. They would have hated me. I would have been a troll. You can't drink over here? Oh, oh, shit. Nigga, fuck you niggas talk about. I'm drinking dummy water. Fuck you niggas talk about. Bitch. They got the sign, no black people allowed. I'll walk right in that bit. Let me get, let me get two orders of ribs. Oh, uh, they be looking at me like, you know, that we don't serve your kind around here. Hey, check this out. I don't serve my kind either. And they all sell dope to no black people. So we both got something in common. So letting it get two ribs, nigga, some mashed potato. She fuck you talk about nigga I ain't about to just not come in here nigga y'all got food in here fuck make you think I'm not supposed to come in here bitch y'all got food in here I'm coming to get something to eat my nigga they would man I would have been dead so fast I wouldn't have lived I wouldn't have never lived through the 70s I would have been dead fast very fast bitch I'm not you crazy I'm not compromising with you people. You fucking crazy. 
I would have been dead fast. Nigga, y'all would have... If I lived in the, in the 40s and 30s and all that, y'all be reading stories about me. The Great Daylight. You be in high, you be in high school studying history. Meet Daylight. On 1933, a civil war happened. But there wasn't the type of civil war that you noticed. It was a different type of civil war. The Great Daylight dressed up as a Klan member and infiltrated the Klan. Once they found out he wasn't really a Klan member, he caught the fade with 9,000 Klan members and was victorious. Fuck you niggas talk about. Nigga, I'd have been out there throwing them. What? I'd have been out there throwing plenty of hands, nigga. Watch out, nigga. Watch out, nigga. I'd have been out there throwing plenty of hints. Man, fuck you niggas talk about. You know what's crazy? You know what I used to look at? When all the black people used to be in the street, it used to be hundreds of black people. Then it used to be like 10 cops just beating hundreds of black people. Man, if y'all don't jump him, what's wrong with y'all? It used to be hundreds of black people in the street and like four or five police jumping them with billy club. They didn't even have guns then. They had billy club. Man, if y'all don't beat his ass, what's wrong with y'all? If y'all don't beat this motherfucking ass. The nigga, bro, let me tell you something. This goes to anybody. Do you know there's a way that you can't get bit by a dog? Only way you can get bit by a dog is if you run. My nigga, I'd have grabbed that German Shepherd by the back of the leg, swung his bitch ass over the roof. You seen that video on Instagram where the, the pit bull got loose and the nigga was roughing the pit bull up, then grabbed him and threw him over the gate? That would have been me. Fuck you nigga talking about, but I'm not running from nothing. Come on, bitch, you got teeth, I got teeth. <laughs> Nigga, fuck nigga, I get down on all foes. I'm catching plenty phase with the German shit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, fuck you nigga talk about. Nigga, I, don't, I ain't scared of none of that growling and all that. Nigga, I could do it too. Fuck you talk about. Nigga, I have caught the fade with everything. Nigga, fuck you talk about. Think you just gonna scare me because you a dog. Bitch, I'm out here. Black power. Nigga, fuck you nigga talk about. Out here, nigga, I ain't fucked by no damn dog. You crazy, you gotta bite your bitch ass back. Nigga, I remember a dog bit me, and I bit his bitch ass right back. Nigga, fuck you talk about. Nigga, I ain't about to sit here and go, ah, you bit me, bitch. Nah. <laughs> nigga, fuck you talk about. Nigga, they can't, they, nigga, before you know it, niggas was like, get your dog. Then, nigga, by about by, by five minutes later, man, get your homeboy off my dog. Nigga, I had the dog on the ground. <laughs> nigga, fuck you nigga talking about, nigga. Went, went back to my primal instincts on this bitch ass. He told me, man, get your boy off my dog, man. He gonna kill him. <laughs> I'm shaking the dog. I'm <laughs> nigga, fuck you niggas talking about. Hey, I'm not playing with no dog. Look, my nigga. Keep it all the way real with y'all. I would have been one of them niggas back in the days. Back in the early 30s and all that. I would have been dead by three. What? I would have been dead. What? What? Are you crazy? All the shit they was doing. Do y'all know how... Can you imagine how the world was in 1930? Hey, let's really think about this, though, on some real shit. Can you imagine... Can you imagine how the world was in 1930? That was before they even considered us humans. Think about it. 
there was a time when people didn't even like we wasn't even equivalent to like humans. They had niggas in zoos and all type of foul, like wild shit. Niggas actually had a group of us, like as cattle. Like, yeah, we have about 13 of them in our possession. He has about 300 of them. Yo, that's kind of crazy when you really, really think about like a hundred years ago, niggas had us as actual cattle. Like, and they still do. Like, ain't shit changed. It's kind of wild when you really, really sit back and think about it. finally waking up and starting to realize what the fuck we are and why has it been so much of an amazing plot to destroy the simple fact of us knowing who we are and what we are it's all starting to make sense as I get older it's been an epic plot to cover up our mentality and make us stray away from what the fuck we really are and how are we what we really are it's been an epic plot. Hmm. Maybe they know something about us we don't know about ourselves. In order for... And how do I have 100% proof of that? Because they have done so much for us to be distracted and cover up. So they've covered up everything we know about ourselves. It's kind of crazy. But we gonna power up though. So let's get it. Let's go in this store with all these all right, people. find the most racist people in the world go here this is like the home shopping network for the clan I love Trader Joe's. Wonderful store full of KKKs. I love Trader Joe's. There was like a bigger one, but if not, I'll just get those. All right. And 
for sure. Huh? Cause I have to have some uh, clam powder. Okay. I was looking for clam powder. Clam powder? Yeah. I don't think we have any like no. that. No. Okay. Alright, you don't got no clan powder. Oh, look what we have here. Snow bunny. Look at that. A fantastic snow bunny. That's a snow dolphin right there. Snow dolphin. That's one of the Syrians right there. How you doing, my man? Real good, my G. Join this wonderful day. 420, gonna smoke me some weed. There you go. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Most definitely. You have a nice day. Let me get out of here before they hang a nigga. I made it out alive, y'all. They was trying to get me, though. Y'all seen them? I seen them trying to get me. I have to get up out of there. How you doing? Shopping cart, bitch. There we go. We made it out the trap. Is it a thing in front of me? No, it ain't. I'm good. All right. What side should I go out on? Because I gotta go to the other store. Yo, I really hate my wife. Her and her bunk ass fucking fake ass vegan eating honey could you go to this store and give me some cauliflowers and broccolis and then could you go to the other store and get me uh some parsley because i like their parsley and then could you go to the other store and give me some organic kales because those have that other store have the good kales man bitch you don't eat some top ramen fuck wrong with you eating all this bunk ass healthy shit bitch you gonna die like a motherfucker Watch the type of people that go to Ralph's. When you watch the type of people that go to Trader Joe's and then you watch the type of people that go to Ralph's, it's clearly evident that Trader Joe's, like Joe, whoever Joe is, he like a real clan member. It's evident, bro. 
Watch the people that being roused and then watch the people that being Trader Joe's. Like it's like it's like it's like two different hemispheres of people. No, all the real niggas fuck with Ralph, my nigga. It's like Ralph. Like it like Ralph just sound like a regular real nigga. Like, yeah, that's a homie Ralph. My nigga Rouse, what's good, G? Hey, she. Nigga, we in there. We in Rouse, nigga. Rouse, all the, all the real niggas shop at Rouse. Yo, white people in Orange County so racist, these niggas got black shopping carts. So subconsciously, they could, like a black nigga could still carry their groceries. So they paint all the shopping carts black. They cold in Orange County. Hold on, let me check this message because she wants some stupid shit. Hold on real quick.